1,610 pounds going into the deadlift. It's all down to the deadlift. Gary's at 1,610 pounds as a subtotal. Needs 890 to make the new world record 2,500 pound lift. He can't have a failed attempt. Let's take a look. It's good. He now calls for 890 on the bar for his final attempt. Gary knows three things. He can pull it off in the deadlift. He's on his way to a new world record of 2,500 pounds, and this is his last chance. A 940 squat, a 670 bench, and a huge 890 deadlift for a grand total of 2,500 pounds. It's a WPO qualifier, February 24th, 2001. The squat, 970. The bench, 694. The deadlift, 870. A brand new world record, 2535. The 2600, people didn't expect. I didn't talk about it before the meet uh, to many people. I just went to the meet and lifted the weights that I had to lift, and then it, and it happened. The 2,600 pound mark is Gary's next milestone. He's chosen the Senior Nationals at Daytona Beach, June 2001, as the location. Gary will achieve many firsts at this event. Come on, Gary. We've got the highest total ever done. Watch this, there's gonna be nothing. 964 upon Gary. From Baton Rouge. At this point in Gary's career, he still steps back with the weight, not even using the mongrel. Yeah. Come on, Gary. 964, folks. This is Gary's first attempt at over a thousand pounds in competition. The bar's loaded at a thousand three. Achieving the first milestone, 1,003 squat, Gary moves his way to the highest subtotal in competition history. The bar is loaded to 705. Good. I still got one more left. Yeah, Get that 26. Okay. What it takes to get the 26. Gary's broken the subtotal record twice at 1742. He's on his way to 2600. This is huge right here. He's now 
now broken his own record with a 25-78 on his way to the next century. Things a little nicer uh, when you when you when you did your best, but you can never get happy. When I hit 2601, I couldn't wait for another four months to train for the next contest. Gary talks about what motivates him and shares his philosophy just before the Southern States Championship. Well, I tell you, to be the best. I've been doing this for 21 years. I've had paid my dues. I've been up and down with it. Uh, to do your best, to get your respect from your peers. Uh, it's, it's overwhelming. It's something you can't get with money. You have to earn it, and I like that. Preparation is everything. Uh, one thing I try to do the day of the meet, I try to get up early enough and uh, try to remain relaxed and not real up, uptight. Uh, if, you, if you are relaxed and I'm not uptight, you're going to have a good meet. Uh, you know, right now, the work's the haze in the barn. The work's been done, and it's now it's just taking care of business. I consider competition something I do against myself. I, I, I go against my own numbers. Uh, I try to, if I don't, if I win a competition but don't better my numbers, I didn't have a good day. Everything about powerlifting relates to the real world. Uh, the competition factor, the work ethic, um, the preparation, uh, going to work and, uh, and giving your best, uh, it totally relates to the real world. Well, I tell you what I tell kids. First off, you got to get your priorities straight. Number one priority has got to be your God. Number two priority has got to be your family. And third can be your, can be your job or can be powerlifting. Once you get those priorities in, in, intact and you have a good foundation, then you can go with it. Deep down, everybody wants to be stronger. I don't care if you're a guy, you're retired, never lifted a weight in your life. Everybody that has testosterone in their body wants to be stronger. That's, that's the physical end of it. The mental end of it, it, makes, it, gives you, it gives you integrity. It makes you a stronger person. It makes you uh, focus better. And it makes you understand uh, a little more of a, a team game. You can't do this without your team. You can't do this without your handlers. Um, it makes me a better husband, a better father. It, uh, because all these, all these factors go into that and it carries over. Good lifters in this sport are not people that badmouth people. They're not people that talk a lot of trash. They're people that just handle their business. No, it's not all business. It's a tremendous amount of fun. But people get this fun in business, uh, they lose a perspective in it. If you're going to do anything well, you have to do it with a business-like attitude, and then you have to enjoy it later. Well, I tell you what, passion is everything. I tell you, I, I go out in my weight room at night. I sit out, I load a bar up to 1,000 pounds before I did it this summer, and I would watch, look at that bar for four or five hours. I get so excited, I couldn't leave the weight room. My wife would come out in the weight room at 2 o'clock in the morning saying, you come into bed. Uh, it's, it makes you so excited, you can't wait for the next workout. And when you lose that passion, then it's time to get out. Integrity. I, I think learning loyalty and, learn, and learning to be honest with yourself and honest with people around you, uh, that's what I've gained from it the most. The Southern States Championship in November 2001 Gary uses this event to display the next step in his journey. He uses the monolith to its best advantage. Watch carefully as he performs his opening attempt. 